Oh. Alright, this is the fourth video which I've had to make now. Oh, just kick anyone. Anyway, I make a U shape. Um, this is how you build the TNT cannon, because obviously this is a tutorial. Make a U shape and just put water inside. Then just go like this until you get to the end. And fill it in so the end is in there. Then you do it up the other side. So you get, whoops. And then you get the full span of the water going into one end, like so. Then you want to build one up, one across, like so. Add a lever. Start this side up. Add a pressure plate, not pressure plate, a, um, one of those stony thingies at the end. Oh yeah, and you're going to want to knock off this one here. Then build another two one there. Put another block on the back of it there. And you're going to need this badly later, so, yeah. Then just put redstone across there, link it with the lever. Redstone across here, until it gets there, leaving out this bit. Um, actually, yeah, leaving out that bit, so that's fine. Then make it there, there, there. Across, 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 across. What am I doing? God damn it. So much lag with these video recorders. Good. Like so. Oh, and guess what? It's going night time. What a surprise. Right. And there you go. So that's what it should look like. Then and this, um, leaving out the source of the water in there, you just want to fill up the cannon all the way to the end of the redstone, leaving out this space, like so. Then just put one so it's hovering over that. Make sure it really is hovering over that, and that's going into the side. Here comes the easy bit. Activate that lever, activate that lever. Bang. One working cannon. Last look at it before I have to end this video. And I'll quickly give you a preview of my super, super, like, really, really powerful one, which I've extended the water span on to make it really, really powerful. Same here. And as you're looking at it, you could probably figure out how I've done it. Just put an extra bits of water on the end, and you can adapt yours to do this as well. As well, if you needed a bit of extra power, it's great for battleships, especially if you have long battleships. If you have long battleships, even better because then obviously you get the extra power out of these cannons, and because it's longer, you can fit the extra on. So same as that. I've done mine a little bit different here. And that is called superpower. And if you're really, really clever like me, <laughs> I'm not being at all modest, and you want to get fancy with your plugins on your server, you can even make your average cannon, like the first one that I made, showed you how to make, and you can adapt it to be wireless with a plugin. Well, I forgot the name of the plugin right now, but you could use commands like these, like receivers and transmitters and stuff to remotely activate TNT cannon. Uh, that is the end of my tutorial, um, and hope you enjoyed it. Um, please subscribe. Actually, don't bother. Uh, you can do, you can if you want. All right.